Hello everyone, my name is Matt Price, Senior System Engineer with Veeam Software. Unlike legacy backup solutions, Veeam delivers availability for the always-on enterprise, providing RTO and RPO, or what we call RTPO, of less than 15 minutes for all applications and data. A big part of maintaining availability is proactive monitoring and alerting of issues before operational impact. In this video, I will discuss Veeam One's change tracking functionality for backup and VMware vSphere. Let's assume you, as the backup administrator, come back from a week-long vacation and have a note from the VMware admin mentioning they did a new VM deployment during the week for a new Oracle database project. He believes that they have assigned the newly deployed VM into the appropriate container to be included in the next backup. However, he wants you to verify just to be sure. Let's have a look in the lab and make sure that that VM is in fact being backed up. Now that we're in the lab, to get started, we want to make sure that we know what the VM name was that was created by the VMware administrator. To do that with Veeam 1, we can leverage the VMware configuration tracking folder. Within this folder, you have this report known as infrastructure changes by object. So that's where we're gonna start first so that we know what that VM name is that was deployed while you were out of the office. Now, as you notice with the infrastructure changes by object, there's quite a few parameters that you can customize, drilling down the scope that you wish to look for, the interval, your start and end date, if you need to go for an exact period of time, as well as object type and properties. Now, in an effort of time, we have run this report ahead of time. If you notice, when we open the infrastructure changes by object report, and we scroll down to the section for created virtual machines, we do in fact see the newly deployed VM pertaining to the Oracle deployment. The actual VM name is in fact ALP Oracle 01. So now that we have the VM name that was deployed during your absence, we can now cross-reference that with a report that we provide called Protected Virtual Machines. Now to access the Protected Virtual Machines report in Veeam 1, you simply navigate to the Veeam Backup and Replication folder and scroll down to Protected VMs. Just like with the Infrastructure Changes by Object report, the Protected VMs report also enables you to drill down into very specific criteria. Now again, we've already figured out what the VM name is, so now what we want to look at is the Protected VMs report to verify whether or not that VM is being backed up. Now as you see here with this report we've run ahead of time, we can tell in fact that ALP Oracle 01 is being backed up by Veeam. However, you also notice that there's a current warning with the job. The last thing that we want with something as critical as an Oracle database is to have warnings or failures when backing that server up. So we need to continue investigation and figure out what the warning pertains to. Now we need to take a deeper look and figure out exactly what's causing this warning within our backup job. Now one of the ways to eliminate potential causes is to leverage the job configuration change tracking report within Veeam 1. You can access this report in the same folder where the protected VMs report lies. If we look at the completed version of this report, You'll notice among other modifications to this particular backup job, we notice that our guest processing credentials appear to be invalid. You can see this with this particular change that we're highlighting now. You can see also that the last line of this report is I have actually gone in and modified our guest processing credentials to be a valid account that will work with our Oracle database. The result of this modification, if we go back and run the protected VMs report one last time, you'll notice that now everything is being backed up successfully. We don't have any warnings with our particular Oracle VM and everything is as it should be. We can now go back to our VMware administrator and let him know that his Oracle project is fully backed up by Veeam. Now that you have learned how Veeam 1 delivers complete visibility through change tracking for backup in VMware, be sure to visit veeam.com for more information on our great features. Thanks for watching.